Good morning, everyone. It's Chrissy Sawyer here. How are you doing? Who got hit last week <laughs> by a comet? <laughs> um, yeah, it was a big week for a lot of people last week. Um, and I kept hearing the same narrative coming through and it was like a real break of some kind of big contract. Um, and the narrative was something like, um, well, there was lots of F-bombing, um, lots of enough, that's enough, I'm done, finished. So it was like, it felt like the final surrender in people, the final giving up, it's that futility card that I brought you so kindly last week um, and giving into the futility because until we burn that forest to the ground, we can't seed the new and hope for it to grow. So to those of you who made that final surrender into utter futility, oh God, I, I, I kneel before you because man, it took some courage. I went through the same thing myself just an utter giving in and what's come out now is a total rebirth and in a completely new energy. It feels very foreign. I feel continually uncomfortable um, and continually inspired. So I've got inspired and comfortable meeting in this new space. Um, and yeah, there'll be lots of changes to this channel. So all the insight and uh, shape is coming through for this channel and others, which I'm simultaneously building. So there will be changes. And um, one of the changes um, is I'd like to start bringing you uh, monthly to begin with astrology readings for each of your signs. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. And I've got some other cool stuff planned. I want to start live streaming. Um, I want cozy coffee, meditation, reading, maybe a poetry group. And it will come, it will come. I feel very safe and confident in that. So for anybody else that's in this energy, stay with it. Um, it's kind of, it's very like that. There's so much uh, change, dynamic, vibe, <laughs> energy, change. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the changes um, that I'm now able to announce is I found my way onto MeWe, having left Facebook last year, um, and I've put a link to my MeWe page in the description box down there. Uh, MeWe is ad-free, very loving so far. The, the family that I'm meeting there are very loving. Um, and I'm really enjoying the energy and the new contacts. So, so today I'm going to try and do, try, <laughs> um, a not too deep reading. Okay, just something kind of quick and light. Uh, so, and the um, spirit animals were calling to me today. <laughs> bring you that one underlying card okay dream the world into being ay 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 yeah keep it simple right <laughs> let's just see um thank you um so messages for the collective please um, yeah, grounding, um, I'm hearing grounding is absolutely essential at the moment. Um, there's, there's an upside down card, what is that? There's two upside down cards. Um, oh, I'm not going to take those, sorry for the distraction, there's a whole chunk. There's a whole chunk of upside down cards. Crystal, that was a messy shuffle. Bear with me, come get a cup of tea. Yeah, these new changing energies, um, like I said last time, I've been tracking the energy and it just comes in as 
Well, it's coming in as fire. Um, so I've had to do a lot of work with my solar plexus to, because solar plexus is now getting ready to create. So it's pulling in lots of fire energy. And so there's a part of me inside that continually feels like this. So I'm working to pull that solar plexus out and to move that energy into the belly where it's ready to create and then to move that right down and ground it into the earth. So that's going to help. But regular groundings, salt baths, remember the medicine wheel, the medicine meal <laughs> we built in December. That's going to help just to absorb and move into the changes. And good luck, I want to say. Really play with this fire. There's some fantastic energy around at the moment. Um, and if it doesn't terrify you for at least a moment a day, get into that. <laughs> Is that it? Awesome. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Lol. Okay. And the underlying energy. Use your mind wisely. Okay, so we've got lots of third eye and crown activation. It's pulling the fire in. And you'll have heard me say 20, 30 times as we pull the light down into the material, it will hit every layer of resistance as it comes in and transmutes and transforms new narratives, new beliefs, new potentials, new hope. Okay, so the lower egoic mind might want to resist what is actually being shown to you as massive potential. Okay, it's a lot of magic in this card. So use the mind wisely and notice when you're in the higher inspirational mind and it's just pouring in, grab a jutter, don't aim to make sense of it, have no expectations just capture it and ground it in and then trust <laughs> did we get this a couple of readings ago i think we did and it is oh my gosh it is um life is speeding up uh that's all i can say about that one Letting go of expectations is really going to help you to be able to run as fast. Okay, so expectations might want to, yeah, even obligations, obligations might want to slow that down or might want to understand that before it comes in and make sense of it, make a plan for it, turn it into something, but it might not be time. Um, you know, have any of you ever read old meditation notes, old journey notes that you did years ago and suddenly it's like, oh wow, <laughs> now that makes sense. So nothing is wasted. Um, yeah, routine is gonna help you, even if that's just five minutes to ground every day and increase your water intake and make sure you're taking enough magnesium, vitamin C, build the immune system because as, as these new codes come into the body, they're gonna need something to work with to help them transmute the old programming. Okay, void, I'm being given the void. Again, it's learning to navigate that void, isn't it? So in the void space, it's just pure potential and it can be deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> For an ego that needs to plan and control <laughs> regiment <laughs> not gonna happen not gonna happen <sighs> oh oh god get in the words a deep dive into the spirit of the soul oh Wow. And hidden deep within the waters 
of me are my mystery and my magic. But that's the place I most fear to go. Okay. Because that's down in the depths, but that's where your magic, that's where you've hidden it until now. That's where you've hidden it. Whale, ancient spirit. Ancient and new types of magic meeting, clashing, and alchemizing and creating new codes straight out the void. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I've got to talk into this. Okay, 47, four plus seven, 11, one, point one, one plus one, two, 47, 11, two. Two. Five, 11, two. Just talking to the 11 2. So, 2 is about balance. So, you'll have heard me mention bipolar. Energy at the moment feels bipolar. Yeah, it does. So, we've got the old codings, programmings. I can't, I must, I should. Meeting the new. What do you want? What do you want, Saturn? How are you going to build that? Aquarius, think higher. Be an inventor. Okay. So, the 11 is the channel that's bringing the light in. And the two is, where am I on this polarity? Because I can't and I can, I was standing in a room facing one another. I will and I won't, standing in a room facing one another. Where you elect to live on that polarity is entirely your decision. Dare you go more towards, I can and I will. I, um, I said to somebody the other day, I think the measure of success is our ability to be with failure. And that's really landing with me. I hope that helps you in some way. We avoid failure because the system judges us. But what is failure? What is failure? You know, I think it took Dyson like 2000 attempts to create what he created. He never gave up, kept his eye on the vision. So, yeah, the space I'm in at the moment, my sentence at the moment is I'm going to hurl myself up the world like cooked spaghetti and see where I stick with no judgment or expectation or obligation. Just like a playful child. Okay. And that's going to help me to move into, um, well, to move into the potential that my spirit has that I don't know, that I can't dream into. So, yeah, it feels very much like, I'm just going to pull a couple of these and then I'm going to, yes, I'm going to go because I've got a client. Um, yeah, feeling into the potential of what's hidden in you. What is hidden in you? What did you bring here to later wake up? during this great awakening. You knew what you were doing. You chose this because you're awesome and unique and beautiful. Okay, uh, what closing message can we give the collective please for today? Closing message, thank you, Ooh, easy. Yes! The unknown is your friend. Lean in to embrace what's next. And I would say to that, lean in to embrace what's now. Okay, because the what's next can push us into destination addiction. It'll be all right tomorrow. Well, you're here now. So name what you're feeling now. Name what you're being now. Because now is the path to tomorrow. And if you can't be in the now, 24-6 heart. There's lots of balancing energy. All these twos. Mm. Lots of balancing energy. How can I balance into this when I lean into the unknown? 
how can I keep my balance? So again, ground, ground, ground. Maybe start, I mean, I can only name what I'm in and what I'm in is lots of solar plexus and belly work at the moment to light the fire and to not get burned alive by it, to steady it and temper it and create from it. Okay. But what energy are you feeling? You know, we're five, so think pentagram, earth, air, fire, water, ether. Okay. What element are you building with? What element might you be stuck in? Hmm. And if it helps you to personify the unknown, to characterize the unknown, bring it into the room as a thing, a being, an energy, an entity. Do it, see what you meet. I invite the unknown in, come and have a chat with me and work with it systemically and energetically and see what you get, grab a journal. Wow, how amazing, how amazing. Okay, so. Just saying. Look at the light and the fire. <laughs> fire, fire. 46, 10, 1. Earth. Mm, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let go of the past. Well, that's a bit of a cliche because people could let go of the past like that. I'd be out of a job. <laughs> know your past is what I would say. Know your past, honor your past and breathe in your new incarnation. Yeah. I might call the video, honor your past. Okay, my darlings, um, that's it for now. Please, um, well, firstly, thank you. Uh, I have four new subscribers um, who I can't name because they don't show up, but welcome you four lovely people. It's so lovely to have you here. Um, and please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's chat. I love to chat with you. Um, and that's it for now. No more waffling. Get off the line, Crystal. <laughs> right. I'm going and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.